the fuck took you so long? I'm here, aren't I? Some of us work, you know? Should try it sometime. Hmm. <sighs> well, I needed to run something by you before the rest of the guys got here. Yeah, well, I'm here. When the rest of them get in here. Should be any minute, huh? Well, shoot. What you got in your mind? I'll just wait until the rest of the guys get here now. So how are you feeling about this new guy? I mean, he's new, but I think he's got a good head on his shoulders. I don't know, man. That's what scares me. Could be a little too good. What, do you think he's going to screw us? You remember the kid we used for the harbor job? I'm being so paranoid. Remind me again, Mac. What happened? Yeah, nothing good, Chance. Nothing good. I don't feel like taking another late night trip out to the boonies, you know what I'm saying? Hey, that's enough. He said we'd never talk about that again. Just saying, man. You need to be careful. I don't think he's gonna go south on us. I don't think he's gonna screw us. I think he'll be fine. Well, you pick the kid. He goes south on us. He's not the only one going. What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck is this? I thought we agreed not to talk about this until the day of the job. Well, the rookie was iffy about a few things, so we figured we'd go over it one more time. You know, makes sense. Jesus, let's hurry up and get this done. Where's the Cub Scout anyway? He wants us all to get together in one place, and he's not here? You still trust him, Max? Yeah, I don't like this either, man. What's up? It's only been ten minutes. Give the kid a break. Both of you were late. You didn't hear me bitching. It's a break. That kid ain't here in five minutes. I'm gonna give him a clean break. Don't jinx this, you fuck. Sorry, I'm late, fellas. Yeah? The fuck took you so long? Got stuck on a little traffic on the way here. Oh, yeah? Just past four in the suburbs. So I got stuck behind a school bus. You know, stop, go, stop, go. I ain't got time for this. All right, boys. So we hit the bank tomorrow. It's their pickup day. When they get rid of all the old currency, they bring in fresh new stuff. Right. So we're taking two cars. Uh, me and the Rook in the first car, and you two guys in the second car. We're taking the stolen car. Mm. And when we get to the bank, we're going to go inside and pose as customers. Chance will be at the counter, and I'll be opening a new account with the bank manager. Yeah, I got that so far. So when everything's all set and everybody's in place, Max is going to come in and take the guard. Right. Then, you also got to remember, they can't push the silent alarm while a robbery's in progress. It's against company policy. Wait, wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. Well, it works like this, kid. During a bank robbery, all the money is no liability. As soon as that button is pushed, it's a life and death situation. So in essence, the customers could literally turn around and sue the bank for putting them in that situation. Or get shot. Fucking crazy, man. Yeah, we know. So Chance, don't forget about the marked bills in each of the teller's drawers. Our guy said there's a stack of 20s and brown bands in each of them. Yeah, no, fuck those are the marked bills. Last thing we need is to be walking out of there like Smurfs just performed cocky on us. Oh, what a sick fuck, Chance. And that's why we're bringing the magnetic stud binder. Exactly. So Dane can use it to pull the ink pack out of the fresh batch, 100. I look at all the employees, tell them to hit the deck gather in the middle of the floor and throw me their cell phones. So I tell all the customers the same and round up all the cells. I'm in the center of the bank making sure nobody gets out of hand. So what am I doing this whole time? Are you serious? Are you fucking serious? What do you mean? I've been listening. I just haven't heard my name yet. You're the goddamn lookout. How many fucking times we gotta go over this? Get your shit together. Yeah, the lookout. Gotcha. I just didn't know if there was more to it. Relax, kid. It's a big job. If you can handle that, we'll all be golden. So I jump on the counter. Chance gets the money from the registers. Dane's gonna grab a bank manager and head into the vault. 
check the safety deposit boxes, and we'll grab the magnetic stud finder. We'll use the stud finder to pull the ink pack. Should be about a three minute mark, then start wrapping things up. Well, whichever comes first, you know. We either have everything, or if time runs out, we get the fuck out of there. No screwing around. Yeah. So we got about four minutes to do this. So once that time runs out, then we run out. We all know it takes the cops in this town to respond to anything, even if they're tipped off. So what if someone does come, what then? No one should come. And if they do, we just go to plan B. Which is? Come on, we talked about this a thousand times. I know, I just want to be sure. One of the reasons why we chose this place is because of the stretch of woods behind it. Worst comes to worst, we run through there, you pick us up on the back road, hopefully nobody sees us. I know it sucks, but it's a plan B. So what happens when someone from the bank doesn't cooperate? Look, that ain't our problem. And what they do, it's their fault, not ours. You know, he's right. It's no one's fault but their own. It's all about controlling the situation. So how many times have you guys done this before? Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. All we know is we have enough experience to do it, and that should be our focus right now. Have you ever had to kill anybody in your past experiences? What the fuck is your problem? Why do you keep asking so many goddamn questions about what we've done before? It's your deal, man. You haven't liked me since Max brought me on board. It's because I don't fucking like you. It's like you're wearing a wire or something. Why are you trying to dig up so much shit? Whoa. Come on, Chance. Take it easy. You can't just go accusing people off a hunch. Hold on a second, Max. He has a point. We barely know this dude. Really? Jesus Christ. I wouldn't wear a wire. I'm no fucking rat. Fucking prove it. I don't have to prove shit. How do I know you're not wearing a wire? Because we brought you on, Needle Dick. Not the other way around. If I was wearing a wire, the cops would already be in here. They can't let a foreman in a dangerous situation like this. Looks like you're about to kill again. What are you trying to say? Nothing at all. All I'm trying to say is if I was wearing a wire, why would they be waiting this long to bust in? He's got a point, kid. He'll be sleeping a lot better tonight for you, for sure. I'm not gonna lie. I would too. Happy now? Everybody still in? You know me, two titties in a bucket. Bucket. Yeah, I need the cash. I'm in. It's on you, Rook. You gonna handle your shit tomorrow? Yeah, I got it. All right. Drop it. We're in the clear. <laughs> yeah, a rookie. Must have gotten a call right when he was going back in. Fucking idiot should have at least waited till he got around the block to turn the sirens on, you know? Yeah. Well, you know these rookies. Fresh out of the academy. Any damn reason to turn on the lights. Fresh out. He's been on the force six months. I think he's already got rotten like us. <laughs> he was rotten before he got to us. Kid slipped right through the cracks. Yeah. Anyway, I gotta get back to the station. You wouldn't believe the paperwork you gotta fill out for pulling a gun these days. <laughs> well, I gotta get back too. They're bringing in some suspects from that harbor job. <laughs> <laughs> you know one they ain't bringing in. <laughs> That's for damn sure.